Nutrition is use of food for growth, repair, and metabolism. So the assessment in a chronically ill patient, this being a patient who has a long-term illness, chronic, as opposed to acute, is assessed through a taking the history, where the patient tells you what he's been going through. He'll tell you what chronic illness he has. It may be cancer, it may be kidney disease, it may be diabetes or cardiac disease. They'll tell you about the drugs they take. And all this helps you to assess and, uh, and expect what their health status or their nutritional status is going to be. A physical exam, a look at their hair, their nails, their eyes, whether they are anemic or not, whether they have all the features of malnutrition that include angular stomatitis or having, um, you know, unhealthy lips, an unhealthy mucous membrane in the mouth, the status of their nails and their skin will all guide and tell you how their nutrition has been over a long period of time. Their weight and height, which is a body mass index, would also help. And at that point, you can also assess the thickness of their skin or what we call um, the, um, the subcutaneous fat. Their muscle mass, how lean uh, they are, also helps. Blood levels of hemoglobin will tell you whether they are anemic because they are chronically, nutritionally um, unfit or electrolytes like zinc, magnesium, iron, all tell you about their nutritional status. The general health status, or what we call performance status, that's the energy levels of the patient, also give you an idea about how nutritionally fit or unfit they are. Can they walk on their own? Can they get up from a sitting position on their own? Do they get short of breath or lose energy over short, walking short distances? That can also tell you what their nutritional status is.